Hi, this is John from Waukegan, Illinois. I bought a QAV 250 quadcopter kit from Banggood last year. The kit includes everything, including a 2200 milliamp hour battery and charger for $145. This was my second quad kit and it took about six hours to build. The 250 size quad is a popular size and is used for racing. Uh, it can use a 6 inch or 5 inch propeller. I have tried both and found that I prefer the 6 inch propeller. If you use a 5 inch propeller you want one with a greater pitch. The standard um, 50 30 does not have enough pitch, I would recommend a uh, 50 by 45 size. But either the 50 45 propeller or the 6 inch ones work good. This kit also uses Emax MT1806 by 2300 kV motors. Banggood has a similar kit with larger 2204 by 2300 kV motors. The first number on motor sizing is the size of the motor and the second number is the speed. The flight weight of my quad is 596 grams, one and a third pounds, including uh, FPV gear, a 808 camera, the, and the um, 185 gram to 2200 milliamp hour battery. With this heavy weight, the quad with the larger uh, 2204 motors from Banggood might be a better option, but this quad still has plenty of power and speed for the beginner or average user. For racing and experts, the 2204 motors would be the better choice. The QAV250 kit uses the CC3D flight control board. You connect the Open Pilot software program to configure this flight control board. There are about 15 options or models that you could pick to um, install the settings for. I was using the Chinese QAV250 with the uh, 1806 by 2300 kV motor option, but uh, I've recently changed it to the Blackout 330 option. It seems to work a little bit better. With the um, CC3D uh, flight control board, there are three flight modes when you're flying. Uh, these are selectable on your radio receiver. Uh, the first or easiest one is called a angle mode and it has a lot of self-leveling so it's fairly easy to fly. The second mode is uh, still fairly easy to fly because there's um, a lot of self-leveling still in that setting, but it allows when the sticks get to the end that you have a little bit more maneuverability and can start to do loops. The third mode is fairly difficult for most beginners to fly in. It's a uh, what they call a acro mode or rate mode. Uh, it has very little self-leveling and is your most maneuverable uh, setting to be in, but it is a, more difficult to fly since there is not the self-leveling that most people are used to. We recommend this quad, but there are probably better options out there now. You could go with a smaller 210 size quad, one of the kits there, uh, they weigh less and they would still use a 5 inch propeller or even go with one of the smaller um, 180s or 160s but they're difficult to build because of their size but they weigh about half what this one will and uh, a lot more maneuverable with half the weight. Thanks for watching my video and hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them below or watch my other videos. Thank you.